we have number seven. Surround yourself with love. Whether it be friends, pets, a keepsake, music, plants, hobbies, whatever. Your home is your refuge. What do you love? Right? What do you love? I love me. I love my partner. I love my family. I love my, my dogs. I love cooking. I love my friends that are like family. I call them my family. Right? I love being able to communicate and speak to all of you. I love writing. I love music. I love music. I love playing music while I cook, which I love cooking. I love cooking. I love the culinary arts. I love baking. I love the process of creation in all aspects. Right? I love writing. I love orating. I love speaking. I love traveling. I love, you know, the process sometimes <laughs> of getting it together, but when I get on a plane every single time I ascend and descend, I have this like immense feeling of gratitude and joy that comes over me every single time I get on a plane, going and coming from, or, or ascending and descending, every single time. It hasn't stopped. And it's been many years since I started traveling as a kid, and I still have the same feeling every single time, right? So I love. So search what you love. What do you love, right? You see the energy in which I said those things? That's how you know what you love. Because you have a certain energy around it, right? But I implore you, search what you love. Spend time with and take part in and keep constantly around you those things that you love. Number eight, cherish your health. If it's good, preserve it. If it's unstoppable, Unstable, not unstoppable, improve it. If it's beyond what you can improve, get help. Now, I'm not a doctor or a medical profession, but I do know some things about health. And I told you I believe that my definition of health is sometimes a little different than some. Um, I believe we should do things like eat right. But what's eat right? See, I don't believe that there's one way for everyone. Meaning, okay, you have to be vegan. That's the only way to be healthy. Because there's a lot of people that are vegan and vegetarian that aren't healthy. Right? Just saying. An, amount, an immense amount of processed faux things that are made to represent like, you know, the faux burgers and the faux meats, and the faux this, and the faux that. Think too much of that is not good, right? So there's a lot of vegans and vegetarians that aren't healthy. Same goes for people who eat just meat, or eat a combination, right? So you have to find what's best for you, and if you, and, and or what's best for your body, right? For your system. Um, and sometimes you don't always know, but I would say trial and error, Right? I also would say get help. Like, you know, search a doctor, a nutritionist. Right? And maybe even take some allergy tests here and there because sometimes a lot of what's affecting our health are things that we are allergic to or don't serve our system or not good for us. For me, I love ice cream, right? And I love cheese. But in all honesty, I can eat those things. But sometimes when I eat those things, I don't feel so good down the line or after the fact. So I choose to mostly eat dairy free. That's my personal thing, but I also took some time to learn that, right? I know this is like a, a, a probably not the best example, but I'm not a big drinker. But when I do drink, it took me years to learn this because I dated a lot of drinkers. <laughs> um, I learned that there's only a specific type of alcohol or liquor that's better for me. Now I still don't drink it in abundance, but when I drink it, I don't wake up with a headache or a stomach ache. I used to. Part of that was mixing stuff, but yeah, I learned what to drink. I learned what worked for me in eating. So trial and error if you can, and also get help. Do some research, right? Um, and so yeah, 
health is not just, you know, that's your physical health. But as we were talking about earlier, you know, your peace is your health, right? Peace of mind. So do what it takes, right? You know, move your body, hydrate. That's something everyone can do. Everyone can move their body. You don't have to jump up and down and do aerobics every day. You can go for walks. You can walk in the nature. You can ride a bike. You can get a stable treadmill or bike in your home and walk or run on that. Right? You can get yourself a, a, a workout buddy and go walking with them. And while you're having a competition, next thing you know, you didn't walk them out. Right? What is that to you? You can just drink more water. Right? Add some lemon or lime to it. Add some fruit to it. There's so many ways to go about it. But incorporate those changes to get you to a better health and improved health. Right? And I would say number nine. Don't take guilt trips. Take the trip to the mall, to the next country, to a foreign country. I mean, but not to where guilt is. I'm going to say it again. Don't take guilt trips. Take a trip to the mall, to the next country, you know, even out of state, to a foreign country, but not to where guilt is. It's simple. Stop going on guilt trips. And don't let anybody get you on a guilt trip. Don't do it to yourself. And don't take it from anyone else. That's all I got to say on it. There's not much to say. You know what a guilt trip is. Don't let anybody make you feel guilty. Right? Sometimes the answer is no and that's it. Period. Right? Sometimes it's yes. Period. But no guilt trips. And lastly, number 10. Tell the people you love that you love them at every opportunity. I believe it's important. And I feel that we all, I know I've done it. Sometimes we wait until we lose someone or something tragic happens for us to, to start doing that. Let's not do that. Let's not wait until there's a loss. We've lost a friend or family or someone we know has lost someone or there's a big tragic event in the world. Let's do it now, every day, as much as is possible. Tell your loved ones you love them. Tell them you love them. Tell them you appreciate them. And if you can, embrace them and I'm gonna add something to that tell yourself that you love you every day all the time look do it in a mirror I know that's called mirror work sometimes it feels strange but do it anyway right say I love you right I appreciate you I am grateful for you. Tell your loved ones, tell yourself, and then embrace yourself, right? And do that today. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel as well. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know which one of those things resonated with you. Um, all of them? One, two, five, ten. What resonated with you? And what do you take from it, right? And how are you going to use it in your life? And also, if you'd like more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And also click the link in my bio and join my free VIP group. Come on over for more community, more inspiration, more information. And a reminder all the time of the greatness that is in you. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me. Until the next time, you have an amazing one.